one of the highlights of being an orchid grower is the fact that you are capable of witnessing such beautiful, gorgeous blossoms. So today in this episode, we are going to be sharing some fabulous tips and some secrets with you. Okay folks, so as you can see, some of the containers that are made specifically for orchids can be proven to be rather bland and really nothing to write home about. So we have the tendency to really want to spruce things up by adding some decorative containers that are more appealing to the eye. Unfortunately folks, a lot of these containers have certain paints and also glazes that can prove to be toxic to our orchid plants. We should always be mindful of this and never risk the health of our orchid plant by placing them directly in these containers. Now, if you would like to display your orchids in these beautiful containers, by all means, do so. But take the pot and just insert it into the container. As you can see, you don't have to plant it directly in the pot and you can still have that beautiful effect now here is something that many of us are totally unaware of and I myself have been a culprit of this. Orcas should never be placed near ripening fruit. Ripening fruit emit a certain type of gas called ethylene that proves disastrous to your orchid blossoms. So although fruits and orchid plants can make quite a delightful arrangement, it is very harmful to the orchid blossom. And another thing that we have to be mindful of is the types of chemicals that we are spraying in the air. Many times we unknowingly spray these chemicals, not realizing the harmful toxins that we are putting into the air. And some commonly used sprays that you may not know can be harmful to your orchids are your cleaners, your air fresheners, your colognes and perfumes, and also your insecticides. And whether or not you're using these sprays indoors or outdoors, be mindful that aerial roots and also other portions of the orchid plant could be absorbing these harmful chemicals. So the next time you find yourself spraying some of these harmful chemicals, please make sure that your orchids are nowhere to be found. So to ensure a very healthy blooming season, avoid any major work during this time. Trying to repot or do any divisions can really harm the plant or abort the blossom. So definitely, again, avoid any major work. During the time your orchid does blossom, you may want to consider bringing your orchids indoors to promote the longevity of your orchids. Because once your orchid is pollinated, soon after the blossoms will fall and the orchid will begin to focus on producing the orchid seed pod. So that you can have the longest lasting blossoms, keep those pesky critters away from them. Hey folks, and this is going to be the last tip of the day, but of course I think it's one of the most important tips, and that is to take care of your orchids even during downtime. Of course, you guys know that when our orchids are in full blossom, that is the most exciting time of all. But of course, when they lose their blossoms, they aren't so exciting anymore, and somehow they come from the front and move all the way to the back and sometime way in the back to the point where we absolutely forget about them and we neglect them. But folks, I actually think that this is the most critical time to take care of your orchids because this is actually the time that you are preparing for the next season's blossom. So what you do from this point on will determine exactly how healthy and how magnificent your blossoms will be. So that's right. What you do now 
providing it the best care possible from the lighting to the watering to the fertilizing of course is going to determine just how beautiful and magnificent the next blossoming season is going to be and as you guys know with every year that comes your blossoms and your orchid will become that much more healthier and that is it folks and I thank you guys so much for tuning in to yet another orchid adventure with me Maria Young and I hope some of the tips and suggestions will prove to be beneficial in your journey to orchid growing as it has for me. I would like to thank you and ask you to stay tuned for more.